what is up everybody welcome back to the round one feature card coverage of the 2019 Discraft Great Lakes Open. My name is Gabriel Dow and I'm here with Bobby Cox. What's up everyone? Uh, this tournament coverage is brought to you by Steve Dodge and the um, uh, Disc Golf Pro Tour cameraman. They uh, sent it over to us and we got it all cleaned up for them. So, uh, so far we got Sarah Hocum playing some super clean golf sitting at two under par, Paige Birgis at two big, Liz Carcipian at three big, and then we have Vanessa Van Dyken sitting at eight. So, uh, we got some more elevation for you guys on this right. back nine. It uh, never ends out here. No. Um, hole 10, this is a par three. It's 370 feet. As I just mentioned, it's way uphill. Um, these ladies are really just trying to throw either a forehand or a turnover to get themselves into position for an upshot. Um, this one's really difficult to get to just because the angle is really tight. And um, you just... I mean, Sarah has the best bet here with the forehand play. Yeah. But uh, I think she's still going to be at the bottom of that hill. Yeah. And this is Paige going with the judge, actually, playing a little uh, placement golf. Yeah. Trying to set herself up for a pretty easy upshot. And Liz is has released that one early, and she's going to be on that left side in some tall grass. Looks like Vanessa's going nuke here. She's been throwing that most of the front nine. And that's yeah. pretty much where you want to be if you're playing that approach. Yeah. Here is Liz from that left side. Trying to get it all the way up there. And looks like she might have turned that one over a little bit too much. And Paige kind of follows suit there. They're both going to be in some tough spots for their par. But Vanessa in prime position, easy layup for her. And Sarah as well. Yeah, Sarah is really putting it by the pin on these approach shots. That's, oh. that's really the difference maker. And yeah, that was from a near make brutal roll forehand up. to roll down. That's going to be a tough putt for her bogey. Ah. Oh. Just a little bit aim side, but she should be able to make the bogey from there. Yeah, we've seen a lot of really awkward putts from the rough, too. Not yeah. a lot of... Uh, I mean, it happens not, on this course. Yeah, not a lot of arm room to to make the complete putt there, but here we got Vanessa for par. Just a little bit too low, yeah, that downhill putt. Yeah, she's just having one of those rounds. Yep. Just can't quite pull it all together. Yeah, she'll be tapping in a bogey. This is Sarah for the lone par of the group. <laughs> Sneaking it in there. Gets it in there, and she's going to stay at two under par. Once again, just playing super clean. She's smiling about it. She's like, ah, it should have been a little bit cleaner, but, you know, it still went in. Yeah. Can't complain. No. Liz taps in the bogey. She will move to four big. I'm getting tired just watching these ladies walk up this hill. I right know. <laughs> like it, it like is. Paige is like stomping like, golly. Yeah, it's no joke. Unfortunate double bogey from Paige. And uh, we are on to hole 11. This is a par three. It's 318 feet. Um, another very uphill shot. Um, Really, these ladies are going to be playing position. They want to uh, just end up in the fairway, somewhere in the middle, and um, hopefully give themselves maybe a circle two look. But uh, yeah, it's a very similar hole to I think it's hole two, right? Where it's yeah, yeah, yeah it's, except the fairway is not quite as tight, right? So, and it's a little bit shorter than hole two as well. So, Sarah, it's a little bit more reachable for these ladies. Yeah, Sarah turning over that uh, trace. And Liz gets it up there. She might be in the rough on the left side there. We got Vanessa with that Avenger SS that she likes to throw for those flex shots. And, yeah, she's in a great spot. Yep. She is uh, just outside circle two. And Paige trying to throw a distance shot but just turned it over. And uh, she's going to be on that right side. 
And that looks to be probably within the circle. Yeah, she should be right there. And with her putting today, it's, it's probably going in. Cake. Yeah. yeah. Paige getting up there as well. Vanessa getting up there. Yeah, she'll be tapping in for par. Yeah, I mean, if if you're in the fairway, you're for sure getting a par here. Yeah. And Liz got it way up there. Yeah, she's looking at a birdie. Not quite getting the height on it, but she'd be tapping in for a par. Mm -hmm. And Paige, a little bit of a misrelease. Should be able to tap in for the bogey, though. Fortunate bogey there, moving her to five over par. And Liz makes good for the par. Sarah's got the umbrella out. <laughs> that sun protection. That's, that's I mean, that's, that's kind of key. Yeah, it it's is. clutch. Because, I mean, you can, it, that sun fries your brain. And Boy, it, it drains the energy out of you. you. Yeah. yeah. Hole 12, this is a par 3. It's four, 534 feet, so a uh, very questionable par 3. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if it's um, par 3. Yeah. Especially, I mean, look at this gap. It's, it's, this is a hard hole. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd be lucky to get a 4 on it, right. <laughs> honestly. Um, but the uh, shot off the tee is very downhill. You really just don't want to throw too far because you can end up in the rough, or um, you don't want to go too far left, as we see Sarah doing here. You really just want to throw a good position shot, end up in the middle of the fairway, um, right near the entrance of that gap towards the basket to uh, leave yourself with a clean look for your second shot. This is looking like a nice shot from Liz. Got a yes. nice amount of turn, just a little bit too much turn. We got Vanessa going with that ESP nuke. It's like trying to hyzer flip something, maybe. Yeah, it looks like it's flipping up nicely, oh, but yeah. she's a little bit too much left, distance. Yeah. And she's going to be in in the rough. And that's that's the danger that you have to be aware of here because, uh, I mean, when you're throwing downhill, it's so easy to overthrow things. Yeah, and here's Paige going judge, maybe kind of going off of what she just saw. Is Sarah in a rough spot? Gets through there cleanly, it looked like. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. She should have a look for her par save. Here's Paige going gatekeeper. And yeah, that gap is just so small. It's yeah. so hard to hit. This is Liz's second shot. A really nice tee shot from Liz. And just barely catches the branch there, unfortunately. Vanessa just trying to pitch out, getting a good spot to possibly make a run at the basket, but most likely just lay up again. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's all she's got from in oh there. No. If we can get through. Oh, yeah. She is right there parked. She'll be able to tap in for the bogey there. Page hitting the early tree, not yeah, advancing too much there. Yeah, not in the best spot. This is Sarah for her par save. Go! Oh, and she wanted that yeah, one. Yeah, she did. Such a far putt, though. Yeah, on those long putts, like, getting the distance is obviously, like, the tough part, but yeah. the accuracy as well, I mean, it, yeah. it, it makes Plus it so much harder. Yeah. from here, too. Liz just a little bit too low, but she'll be able to tap in for the bogey. Yeah, that's not the most satisfying uh, noise whenever you miss a putt. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather I hear mean, air than that. <laughs> yeah. A four is definitely not that disappointing on this hole. Yeah. Paige having some troubles on this one. Yeah, and this hole actually averaged 3.8. So, I mean, that's considering. Surprising. Yeah, considering this sh really should be a par four, a 3.8 average is very impressive from yeah. the FPO field. And 
and that is a very unfortunate number from Paige there. Yeah, she knows she's way better than that. Yep. Sarah tapping in her bogey. Moving her to one under par, but she's still under par, and that is fantastic on this yeah. course. Yeah. Liz tapping in for bogey. All right, hole 13. This is a par four. It is 516 feet. Once again, another very uphill shot. Um, these ladies are really just trying to stay in the fairway, um, bite off as much distance as they can to uh, leave themselves with an open second shot. Um, Paige Pierce not. finishing four down. Leading the pack so far. Yeah, not too surprising there. Nope. Sarah's going to be right there in the middle of the fairway in a good spot. Oh, that needs to come back. And she's going to have some tough footing over there. That is inbound, so. Ooh, and Vanessa doing the same thing. She's going to be in that tall grass as well, and they both will have some tough footing. Yeah, a lot of her drives have been quite low. This should be like the main adjustment for her going into the second round. Mm -hmm. And Paige doing the same thing as well. Dude, <laughs> this grass is so tall. Yeah. It's literally like up to like their waist. Yeah. That is not fun. <laughs> no. That's like, usually tall grass doesn't mess with like your form or like right. your pull through, but that is definitely in play. And Sarah just turned that one over a little bit, but she might have a long look for her three. Paige, that one looked like a pretty nice shot. Yeah, Liz had a great flight on that, just not quite enough power. Yep. Giving it a good run. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah's basically just sitting on the rope. Yeah. <laughs> and she'll be tapping in for par. <laughs> I'm sure she just wants to take a Machete knife and just that chop that thing <laughs> off. Yeah. It's like, why is this here? Yeah. And Paige is going to be right there. Yeah, and Paige just hasn't been putting herself in the position to get birdies, really. Yeah. A lot of her putts are long putts for par. Mm-hmm. She's been in some awkward positions right. on her uh, second shots. This is Vanessa to save par. Good putt there. And this this whole average just over par at 4.09. So very understandable there because, I mean, once you get halfway down the fairway, the up, I mean, it plays like 400 feet <laughs> once yeah. you're at the bottom of the hill. So, And you uh, got some branches to deal with closer to the basket too. Yeah. So. And ropes. And ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected ropes. Yeah. Um, hole 14, this is a par 3, 375 feet. You are transitioning back downhill. Um, this is one of the few um, very gettable birdies for these ladies. Um, you really just wanted to throw something overstable on that right side and crash into these trees. The basket's tucked um, in this little bunch of trees, so you ideally want to get a little bit more distance so you can hit this backside gap because it is it is a little bit more open. So um, looks like we got Sarah Hokum lining up the rear backhand here. Yeah, throwing a vanish. And that looks nice. It might be a little bit sawed off. Yeah, she got a little yeah. bit of a flip up there, but I don't think quite as much as she was expecting. Yeah, definitely. Got Liz. Looks like she's still on that ESP nuke. Hanging out way, way right. And 
Yeah, she'll have a look from there. Yeah. She might have an awkward angle to the basket, but she's close. And this is looking like a nice shot from Vanessa. This push forward. And just yeah, I got caught some up. branches. Yeah, it seems like this course is like it's pretty open for like the like first seventy five percent of the fairway, and then right by the basket it gets super technical with like a lot of branches. Yeah, exactly. Page a little bit short left as well. Yep. Well, forehand roller. Yeah, I mean that's all she's left with from here. Get left. Oh, I just didn't quite want to turn over. She's gonna have a long putt for her par save. Yeah, those soft forehand rollers are so hard, especially yeah. like right around the green, because you're not really you don't really practice them. It's just kind of like an in the moment type feel, you mm -hmm. know. And it's hard to get that that uh perfect turn you want. Yeah, you gotta get it down on the right angle with the right disc, especially. I yeah. I always tend to choose the wrong disc. Yeah. Good putt there by Vanessa. Yep, she will make good for par. Liz taps in for par as well. She will stay at five big. And Sarah tapping in an unfortunate bogey to move her to even for the first time in the round. I mean, since hole since one. Hole one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty impressive. Very impressive. Um, hole 15, this is a par three. It is 400 feet. As you can see, it's kind of flat initially off the tee and then carries downhill. And the basket is going to be tucked when it transitions back uphill on this other side here. Um, since it is so downhill, this is uh, somewhat reachable for these ladies. They're uh, just going to be throwing something dead straight, try and end up somewhere at the bottom of that hill to leave themselves with a uh, circle two to uh, edge of circle one look. Liz throwing this pretty nice. Got a little bit too much fade at the end, but she's still up there. Vanessa going nuke here. And this one looks a little bit too turned over. Oh, no, it's oh. coming back. It is. Oh, yeah, that's actually a great Thought shot. Thought I was going to catch that branch on the right side there, but that's a great shot. We got Paige pulling out that bl Ballista Pro again. Really her go-to flex disc, as you can see why. Flexing back nicely. Yeah. And she is going to be right there. Sarah going to trace her go-to forehand disc. That's a little bit shorter than she wants. Yeah, definitely. She's still got somewhat of a look. She'll most likely just be laying this one up, though. That'll work. She'll be able to tap in for par there. There is Liz from that left side. It's kind of a tricky forehand, but executes it well. Here is Vanessa. Yeah, and, and that's such a hard putt, the uphill. Yeah, thank goodness it wasn't like super windy out here, because I would, I mean, imagine trying to control that, uh, the the nose of the disc with all this elevation on this course <laughs> with yeah. like a thirty mile per hour like wind. Yeah, that'd be so nuts. Page taps out for par. Sarah's going to be doing the same thing to stay at even. Here is our leaderboard. Paige Pierce in the clubhouse at four under par. Madison Walker in the clubhouse with one as well. Jessica Weiss and Katrina Allen finishing up their rounds. They are uh, floating around that one down range. So Yeah, anything under par out here is so good. Yeah. Um, hole 16, this is a par three. You have a gap on the left side. Um, that these ladies are either going to hit with a turnover or a uh, forehand. You can also take a dead straight shot, but that one is a little bit more risky because the gap is just so tight. Um, this tee shot really just demands everything out of you. you got to get the angle right. You've got to get your release point right. And um, you've got to get your height right as well. Yeah. So not an easy hole, but uh, I definitely dig the hole because it demands so much. Yeah, I like it. Vanessa throwing that Avenger SS, and she's gonna be stuck behind some trees there. Yeah. And Paige. 
Finding the same trees as we saw Liz find. Sarah wiping down them, them tea boxes. Sarah, this is looking like a oh, nice shot. Just squeaky. a little bit too high. And she's going to be just past that tree. She'll, she'll have a long look for her, too. Paige, just a little bit too flippy of a disc. Or maybe she just didn't start that more left enough. Yeah. Liz taking the big hyzer route. I like this play. Yeah, it looks like she might have gotten caught up there. Nice upshot there from Vanessa. And Sarah is right there for her par. This is Sarah for par once again. Yeah, and Liz took a double bogey, Paige took a bogey, and Vanessa took a par, so. All right, yeah, I think we missed those putts, but yeah. uh, hole 17, this is a par four, 630 feet. You have this little OB zone on the left side that you wanna avoid. These ladies really are just gonna try and get in position on the right side of the fairway to leave themselves with an open uphill shot for their second shot. This is looking like a really nice shot from Vanessa. Yeah, she's going with the Jawbreaker Roach. Yeah, it looked like it stayed in. Yeah. Sarah throwing that trace again. Just trying to stay in bounds, and she does that. Yeah, that's a great position for a yeah. second shot. Paige going Ballista Pro, and that is turning a lot. Yeah. I don't know if there was a little bit of headwind that she didn't feel, but uh, that one's going to be way right in the rough. Is that ESP nuke from Liz? Trying to flex one out there. Yep. Needs to flex back, and that looks like it's doing it. Oh, yeah. She's going to be on that right side. Might have a little bit of awkward footing. There's Paige going bless the pro again. Trying to climb all the way up that hill. Still not quite all the way up there. Yeah, she'll be, she'll have a long look for her birdie. And Sarah will be right there towards the bottom of the hill. Ooh, and that needs to get up and it doesn't. She's going to be dead center of that bush yeah that's just I mean, the, that the just kind of stuff that's been happening to her all round yeah just getting in really tricky spots the scrambling isn't quite there this round and yeah just making it hard for herself and yeah she might just have to pitch directly out yeah this i mean if she can even pitch out i mean look how thick that is yeah yeah she's saying she can't even really get in there She's walking back. And Liz is on a mission. Being a trooper. <laughs> yeah. Just went into Narnia real quick. <laughs> yeah. Went to go say hi to Aslan. Yeah, so. Yeah. So she's playing, replaying from her second shot, or uh, replaying after her tee shot. And, and she, uh, she about went in there again. Yeah. Got around it this time, though. But uh, that reshot's going to cost her a stroke. Here is Sarah with a rare backhand. And that'll be just fine. She should be able to make that putt. Here is Vanessa. A little bit short. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great birdie from Liz. Just getting it right over that cage. Perfect. That's moving her to six big. And this is Vanessa for a six. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, I think this next putt is for triple. This is Sarah to save par, though. She is needing this one if she wants to stay in this race. As we saw, we had a couple ladies finishing somewhere near the one under range, so. Nice. And she makes the putt, stays at even. Paige taps in for the par. Yeah, it's weird seeing nine big from Paige because it, it doesn't even seem like she's been playing that bad. It's just a couple holes, like seriously. Yeah. Yep. Uh, hole 18, this is a par three. It is 315 feet, very uphill. Um, kind of finishing opposite of hole one. I like it though. You know, start downhill, finish uphill. Um, you're really just throwing a uh, turnover or a forehand over the left side OB. Um, it's really tricky off the tee. I mean, as you can see, you have this tight gap with the two trees here. And um, obviously that branch right there that gets in your head as well. So yeah, let, list on that Avenger SS, her uh, understable disc that she likes to throw. Yeah. Sarah's just going to try to crank one up there. And she stays in. And we'll give herself an open look to uh, make par. It's hard not to picture uh, Paul's birdie putt on this hole for 18 down. Right. <laughs> every like, time you see this hole. Every time I see this hole. Yeah. That's just a moment in disc golf that will always be remembered. How far was that putt? I mean, it, was like, it had to be in at least yeah, 45, like, 50. No, I think it was like 50, 60. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. That was on like the generous side there. And Vanessa is going to be a little bit short. Paige after the OB oh, almost dunks it. Might have been a little bit short, but here is Sarah with a clean look to save par and finish the round at even. And Vanessa just having her putting woes round. Yeah. It happens to the best of us, that's for sure. Yeah. And Sarah Hokum finishing at even. Putting super solid all tournament, yeah. or all round. Just outclassing the card this round. Yeah. Liz makes good for the par. She will finish at six big. Paige finishing with an unfortunate bogey. She will finish at ten big. And then we got Vanessa tapping in the bogey as well. She will finish at 14. So that is going to conclude the uh, round one feature card of the 2019 Discraft Great Lakes Open. Um, Paige Pierce, once again, leading the pack, coming into the clubhouse with four under par. We got Katrina Allen, no surprise, at one under par. And uh, Madison Walker is right there with her. And then we will also have Sarah Hokum sitting at even. And that is going to be our round two feature card. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Or you can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And we'll see you guys for round two.